with an increase in global population the world has been facing a global shortage of food there are numerous countries around the world which are not able to provide enough good quality food to all their citizens the current agriculture land that we have have been utilized to their absolute maximum and global supply of food is not going to increase if we don't change our methods we have to come up with really inventive techniques to increase the yield of our current agricultural lands but what if we could get more agricultural land and here i am not talking about clearing the forest what if we could convert the deserts on our earth into farmlands and by deserts i mean the ones which are covered by sand and not the ones which are covered by ice so antarctic and desert is off the limits can we actually do this can we actually convert the deserts on our earth into agriculture farmlands and what would be the ecological impact of this step quite large chunks of our land on earth is covered by desert and very few plants grow in these deserts because deserts are not able to retain water whatever rainfall happens in these deserts is quickly lost to the underground water sources and in deserts we are only counting those places which receive less than 20 cm of rainfall each year at present these deserts lie unutilized but what if we could convert these into agricultural farmlands do we have certain techniques which can do this well there is this one technique which has been used worldwide to convert certain portions of desert into agricultural farmland this technique involves spraying of micro clay in the desert now what's micro clay micro clay is similar to normal clay just the particles of clay are extremely small they are smaller than even the width of a human hair farmers have been using this technique all over the world for a very long time they tend to spray or mix micro clay in their agriculture farmlands this not only improves yield but also makes the soil lot more nutritious so if you are able to procure huge quantities of micro clay and water then we can start the process of greenifying the deserts of our earth micro clay mixed with water can be sprayed throughout the desert that we want to greenify this wet micro clay will start binding with the sand particles in the desert once the sand particles get surrounded by these micro clay particles the water retention of the deserts would increase by 40 to 65% and this would be good enough to start agriculture or farming in these deserts and once the first batch of crops start growing it has a positive impact on the overall ecosystem of the desert and more and more plants can be grown quite easily however for this process we would need immense quantities of micro clay and water in fact we would need so much of water that it would be almost equivalent to half of one of the major lakes of north america which is lake superior and the budget for this entire process of greenifying the deserts would be almost equivalent to four times the global gdp this process has to be repeated every 5 to 7 years why because with more and more crops growing the soil or the micro clay would start depleting and we would need to spray more micro clay and water in the desert also greenifying the deserts can have a huge negative ecological impact on our earth let's take sahara desert for an example if you are able to convert entire sahara desert into agriculture farmlands then maybe we can lose amazon rainforest now you must be thinking what's the relationship between sahara desert and amazon rainforest well at the current time the winds pick up sand particles from sahara desert and carry it over to amazon rainforest during this journey the sand particles gather water molecules and these water molecules eventually fall in the amazon rainforest as rain these sand particles also fall with rain and they act as a fertilizer for the amazon rainforest now if we convert sahara desert into an agriculture farmland then there would be no more supply of sand and water to amazon rainforest and we would eventually lose the entire amazon rainforest so before embarking on any such project we have to be really careful 
that improving the ecology of any place does not have a negative impact on the ecology of another place. We have to think about the ecology of our earth as a whole and have to embark on projects which can improve the ecological situation of the whole earth and not improve the ecological situation in certain areas and destroy it in other areas. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and stay curious.